Hey everybody, welcome to Zine Cuisine. Uh, so this weekend, this weekend, now we love Big Lick Comic Con. It is, however, a Comic Con. It is mostly a lot of print artists, uh, people selling old comics, toys, uh, a lot of merch, uh, buttons, uh, that kind of stuff, you know? Um, people in costume because there's a giant costume uh, cosplay contest. So it's that kind of con. It's not really a uh, real, it's not a zine fest. However, there are people that do have zines at these, um, our table being one of them. Uh, we had quite a few zines, zine packages, that kind of thing to get people into zines. But at these shows, you generally get the question, what is a zine? And it's a question that, yes, we're prepared to answer. And by the time they, they leave, they're like, oh, cool. That, that's pretty neat. So it's sharing the information and getting the word out what zines are and what zines also encompass. Yeah, I know. So... Got a couple of zines, got a couple of um, other little things, got some cool buttons and some prints, um, got a couple of action figures to work on a, another little project for some miniature zines, some little zines, but a little tiny little zines about this big. Um, I'll post a picture of some of the uh, action figures that we put together with some miniature zines. It's quite amusing. But all in all, it's not a zine fest. So we take it with the grain of salt that we're not going to be able to get a lot of zines. We did get some independent comics, which is great. Um, one we're going to do a, a uh, much more thorough review on because it's a purely independent so comic. So we did get, like I said, we got a couple of things. Um, didn't really get to ask a lot of questions like, you know, question of the day. Um, I tried a couple, but with a few people who are actually into the whole zine scene, it was like going to be like two people, two to three people. And it was just kind of like really loud in there. It was even bigger than last week's, uh, zine fest as far as like size wise is at Berglund Center, which is a huge center for conventions and concerts and whatnot. So it was incredibly hard to hear with thousands of people in there. Um, we do have a little bit of view on what we did get and got to meet up with some people who also talk about indie comics and zines. So we'll get to talk to them a little bit more. Uh, we have some more stuff planned for the future. Uh, I have a few more episodes planned for this week. I'm going to work on one tomorrow and one for Friday. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we have Hill City Zine Fest, Zine Fair coming up. And I think I'm going to be able to convince Stephen Kissel to give us a tour of his Rizo machine at the Sparks Lab in Lynchburg. So that'll be fun. Uh, again, I want you to chime in below and tell us what you want to see. We are sitting at just around 75 subscribers. I think maybe like 76, 78, right around there. We only need 25 more so we can change our URL. So it says Zine Cuisine instead of HGF237 blah blah blah. So that's coming up. And plus when we hit 100, 100. We're going to do the giveaway. And the giveaway is going to be lit. Because we are pulling from our own zine collections as well. Uh, we have some zines that were traded and given. And some stickers and some pins. I have a couple of enamel pins I'm throwing in there from other artists. Zang. Okay, so other news. Um, we're going to beat and then we're going to come back around here. So... 
In other news, we are looking into Patreon as a way to support. Um, we would love to be able to upgrade the camera. We would love to be able to work on other projects like a, a magazine of some sort that does more views and is contributor, uh, you know, coordination and cooperation. And um, also, um, some bad news, our printer died, so that's a bummer. Uh, Canon went through the whole thing with me, but it's the paper tray just stopped feeding. So, tears of sadness going down my face. It's gotten a good, I think, year and a half, almost two years of solid use. Every time we do a zine fest, we are doing print run, print run, print run. We also have the, the Canon laser, but the Canon laser is from 1998 and does not play well with Windows 10. So we're, we don't use that to print right from the computer. So our main printer is Kaputsky, so I can't make any more zines. And I had some great projects. I want to do action figure zines. So um, that would be really cool. <sighs> it's a bummer. It really is. Anyway, you can really help us out by subscribing, hitting the little bell below so you can get updates on when we do these great little mini episodes and in the future when we start doing tutorials and doing interviews. Also, Super stoked. if you are interested in us reviewing zines, we have two reviews coming up this week, two great ones. You can send us zines. We love them, and when we get these zines, we care for them, we hold them close to our heart, and then we let them fly into the hands of other people in the community. So we're going to be doing that with some uh, giveaways on here, on the YouTube channel, on Instagram, and maybe even a few on Twitter. It seems like those three are the, the main things. The Facebook page, not so much. It's kind of like a, a landing pad. But that's about it for this one. Uh, again, another one tomorrow. And bon appetit. All right, so here we go. We've got quite a few buttons, um, thanks to one of our great friends. I will definitely put all the links for everybody. But um, here we got... Quite a few prints. Uh, Big Lick is not exactly a very zine fest. We did get a couple of small independent publications, but not too much. Most of it was people selling a lot of art, which is great. You know, most of these shows are art, which you're helping local artists this way. So, um, from Becca Doodles, um, I got my chicken nuggies and chalky milk with with the the child. Stephen Kissel, we got our. Beautiful KK slider because we love Animal Crossing. Um, we got a sticker also from Steven with the little pupper. Check out the little pupper. Uh, we did get, check this out. We did get a zine. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is a uh, punk monkey. And it's a perfect little comic. Check that out. Punk monkey. Um, that is, if you can see that, that is Micah underscore Acord at Yahoo.com. Also on Tumblr, so definitely check him out. Uh, we're going to be talking to them more in the future about some uh, zine-related stuff as well, because they are zinesters. This is, you know, our affinity for Rizo around here. This is Rizo uh, Grilled Cheese from Stephen Kissel. And the Amazing Adventures of Superior Sam. Superior Sam is um, pretty awesome. It is a comic about differences. And differences being handicaps, uh, handicapable. Um, it is amazing. We already have issues 1 through 6. So getting issues 7 and 8 were definitely amazing. But it's a great comic. Independently published. I mean, check that out. The kid is the main character, um, kind of after the writer, who also has a 
I believe titanium uh, leg, which is pretty cool because he he shows off some of the ones that have like the superheroes and stuff that he has put on it. So it's really cool. Um, it's great all ages. I highly suggest it. Uh, Christopher Barcombe is a great guy. We met him at a library con last year in um, Northern Virginia, and it's just too perfect. If you have a kid, just amazing to be able to get anyway. So get that. Uh, I'll put links to everybody on the bottom of the description. And another zine from Steven, um, Gastro Quirks. And I have some uh, partialness to this because not only is Steven one of our, our table buddies, but um, oh, look at these beautiful color illustrations. All the different things that people love. Now, David, peanut butter and bologna sandwiches, so that is definitely very close to home for us. And our friend Emmett, who's bedside balsamic, I just completely dig because, yeah. I take shots of balsamic vinegar. So that was another zine we got. We're going to be doing some more with Steven soon. Because Steven is putting on Hill City Zine Fest, Zine Fair, in Lynchburg. Um, this is coming up. And that's going to be a really fun first year event. And it's going to be at Riverviews. So more information will be coming about that. We'll have an interview and a tour of the Rizo machine that he got to get a really interesting gift from D. Michael Watkins, who's an artist that, um, also a friend who's retired his hat. So a little inside joke there, um, <laughs> drew himself with the hat, just funny. And our friend who does these wonderful buttons and will be working some button magic for Zine Cuisine. So I have some of these that will be part of a giveaway. I think I'm going to do some of these beautiful glittery ones. And I might do something special with those. And a typewriter. I think I'm going to put those with part of the giveaway that's coming up. So you got those. Um, going to be getting some more issues, some zines and whatnot to be part of the giveaway. So not the biggest haul from this show. Uh, but it was, it was very busy. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was a very, very busy show on Saturday, and Sunday, it, it just kind of died down. It That's just generally the nature of having a cosplay contest.